Hello, welcome. Thank you for joining me today. We're reading through the daily lessons in the Course in Miracles, and today we're on workbook lesson 195. Love is the way I walk in gratitude. Love is the way I walk in gratitude. Gratitude is a lesson hard to learn for those who look upon the world amiss. The most they can do is see themselves as better off than others. And they try to be content because another seems to suffer more than they. How pitiful and depreciating are those thoughts. For those, for, for who has cause for thanks while others have less cause? And who could suffer less because he sees another suffer more? Your gratitude is due him alone who made all cause of sorrow disappear throughout the world. It is insane to offer thanks because of suffering, but it is equally insane to fail in gratitude to one who offers you the certain means wherein all pain is healed and suffering replaced with laughter and with happiness. Nor could even the partially sane refuse to take steps which he directs and follow in the way he sets before them to escape a prison that they thought contained no door to the deliverance they now perceive. Your brother is your enemy because you see him the rival for your peace, a plunderer who takes his joy from you and leaves you nothing but black despair so bitter and relentless that there is no hope remaining. Now is vengeance all there is now is vengeance all there is hang on. Okay, now is vengeance all there is to wish for. Now you can but try to bring him down to lie in death with you, as useless as yourself, as little left within his grasping fingers as in yours. You do not offer God your gratitude because your brother is more slave than you, nor could you sanely be enraged if he seems freer. Love makes no comparisons, and gratitude can only be sincere if it be joined to love. We offer thanks to God our Father that in all things, that in us all things will find their freedom. It will never be that some are loosed while others are bound, for who can bargain in the name of love? Therefore, give thanks, but in sincerity, and let your gratitude make room for all who will escape with you, the sick, the weak, the needy, and frail, and for those who mourn a seeming loss or pain, feel pain apparent, who suffer cold or anger, or hunger, or who walk the way of hatred and the path of death. All these go with you. Let us not compare ourselves with them, for thus we split them off from our awareness of the unity we share with them, as they must share with us. We thank our Father for one thing alone, that we are separate from no living thing, and therefore one with him. And we rejoice that no exceptions ever can be made which would reduce our wholeness nor impair or change our function to complete the one who is himself, completion. We give thanks for every living being, for otherwise we offer thanks for nothing, and we fail to recognize the gifts of God to us. Then let our brothers lean their tired heads against our shoulders as they rest a while, we offer thanks for them. For if we can direct them to the peace that we would find, the way is opening at last to us. An ancient door is swinging free again. A long forgotten word re-echoes in our memory and gathers clarity as we are willing once again to hear. Walk then in gratitude the way of love. For hatred is forgotten. 
When we lay comparisons aside, what more remains as obstacles to peace? The fear of God is now undone at last, and we forgive without comparing. Thus we cannot choose to overlook some things and yet retain some other things still locked away as sins. When your forgiveness is complete, you will have total gratitude, for you will see that everything has earned the right to love by being loving, even as yourself. Today we learn to think of gratitude in place of anger, malice, and revenge. We have been given everything. If we refuse to recognize that we are not entitled, therefore, to our bitterness and to a self-perception which regards us in a place of merciless pursuit, where we are badgered ceaselessly and pushed about without a thought or care for us or our future, gratitude becomes the single thought we substitute for these insane perceptions. God has cared for us and calls us son. Can there be more than this? Our gratitude will pave the way to him and shorten our learning time by more than you could ever dream of. Gratitude goes hand in hand with love, and where one is, the other must be found. For gratitude is but an aspect of love which is the source of all creation. God gives thanks to you, his son, for being what you are, his own completion and the source of love along with him. Your gratitude to him is one with, is one, I'm sorry, your gratitude to him is one with his to you. For love can walk no road except the way of gratitude, and thus we go who walk the way to God. So this is uh, another great uh, lesson today. And again, the backstory, what this doesn't talk about, is that, uh, you know, some real core teachings. Um, everything is energy. What we look at in this physical realm is an illusion. And so understanding that you really are a force of love. That is the energy that you are. That's where you came from. It's the only thing that really exists is the energy of the love of the universe and God or whatever word you want to use. And so there's nothing to not be grateful for because it's all a function of divinity. It's all a gift. And so when you look out in the world and you see something that you don't think of as a gift, now you come back to this lesson because the core of that answer is in this lesson. So I hope it helps you today. If you need additional support, you can reach out to me at 907-351-3003. You can also message me on Facebook and on YouTube. And you can visit my website, lindalamp.com. Or you can visit my sh shop at uh, lindalamp.shop. Thanks again for joining me today. Namaste and much love. <laughs>